Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, apps for research. Hi, my name is Guy Trainen and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I want to talk about some apps to start up research. Uh, the first thing you want to do if you're working inside a school system is find out what resources your libraries have because many libraries across uh, the country have started using databases and sources online that are available to anybody regardless of device. So this would probably be the first step, but we are going to present here today some apps that would work whether you have a license or not. And the first one I want to talk about is Wikipedia. Now we teach kids that Wikipedia is not everything that we want and it's definitely not the only thing we want in a research paper, but it's a great way to start the research and see where it's going. So we are right now in the Wikipedia website and you can see that it starts with a featured article of today, but I'm in this case interested in the Crusades. So let's see what Wikipedia has to offer when we search the Crusades. And so you get multiple options because many of the terms actually have multiple ways to think about this. And this is the, the page about the Crusades and you can see that it incorporates maps, it incorporates text. And what I love best is whether you take it or not, first of all, you can use the links to really go to new places. So I can see, oh, I'm interested in the sacking of Constantinople, which I actually am. And so you can Click on that and it'll take you to the part on uh, Wikipedia that will talk about that. And the other thing that uh, I want to show, and you can see that this is, this is very long and this has a lot of details, is the fact that you can actually look up the resources. So there are other things to talk about. Uh, see also other terms within Wikipedia, but you can look at the references and find some of those are available online. And if not, it's going to send you to the kind of books that are actually going to be useful in writing a paper. So it's a great first step. Again, we don't want students to use only Wikipedia, but it's a place, it's accessible from anywhere, it's accessible to everyone, and it's a good place to start. So Wikipedia is the first thing I would use. The second thing that I would recommend is Britannica. Britannica Encyclopedia has a, an app. It will be limited in what it offers without pay, but you can uh, at least take a look at what's being offered. Let's look at the Crusades. And you can see that the search is very, very fast. It finds it very quickly. And you can see that for $15 a year, you can subscribe to the Encyclopedia Britannica and everything that it offers. So if you're talking about the classroom or if you're talking about uh, privately in somebody's home, this is not a huge price, especially when you consider how much uh, Encyclopedia used to cost. And you can see the table of contents here for the article, uh, images, link maps, so you can see exactly what there is. And you can see that this article inside uh, the Britannica is 21 thousand words. So this is a very, very robust article that you would be able to use. So this is Britannica. Again, here we're talking about pay. It'll give you just a clue. It'll tell you more or less what they have available. But this is something to think about. Uh, a few more places that you can look. The first one is Quora. Uh, Quora is a wonderful uh, website and an app. And what it allows you to do is to search a topic. And this it works a little bit differently. It's somewhat similar to Wikipedia in the fact that it, by the fact that it's uh, crowdsourced and people ask questions. So these are the results for the Crusades. And these are the questions that people ask about the Crusades. And you can see. Here's a question, were the Crusades successful? And there are 13 answers. And the beautiful thing about this is while it's crowdsourced, you can see who every person who provided an answer is, and you can decide for yourself if it's something credible or if it's something that uh, would uh, be questionable. So it's a different way to get some specific questions answered. You can actually float a question and see who responds to it, a question about the Crusades, or you can look at other people's questions. So it's a good way to find even topics to think about, uh, like we did here. And you can see, for example, here's a, a way to look at somebody. This is Tim O'Neill. He's a, a person who is 
if you click on him, you'll get uh, to see who he is. He's a top writer. Uh, he has a lot of answers he's given. This is where he's at. Uh, what does he know about? And things like that. So you can actually start making judgments about the author. So while uh, this is problematic because it is not written by professionals necessarily, what it does allow us to do is actually train kids to look at who it is providing the answers. Are they credible? So it's a great exercise in that kind of thinking and a, a great way to get answers to specific questions instead of uh, searching for them uh, online randomly. So this is Quora. The next two that I want to present are about finding the right books for your project. And I'll start with iBooks. So I'll do a quick search for iBooks because it's actually in a different point in uh, my work. And you can see that I've already conducted the search. All you have to do is click on, uh, on the uh, top charts on the bottom. Then you type in the search uh, bar something you're interested in. In this case, the Crusades. We do a search and you find the books. And most of these are for sale, but when you see, when you look at all of them, you can find that some of them are expensive, some of them are cheap, and some of them are actually free. I found uh, Daniel McClendon's The Crusades. I downloaded it, and now I can read this book. Uh, again, it's important to look at who's the publisher, who's the author, which is always important, but here I have the ability to look at the text and really judge and really learn about the Crusades. So this is from iBooks and again, a great resource. It doesn't have to be for pay, it can be free. The next one I want to talk about is one I've talked about many times before and one of my favorite, this is Overdrive. And in Overdrive, you are able to log into your library and do a search and what's available there and if it's available electronically, whether audio or a or just a uh, digital text, you can find it. So I'm looking for the Crusades. And here are some books that are available on the Crusades. And you can see this is a search with the word Crusades. It's not the topic, so you would come up with um, other things as well and not just things describing the Crusades. But here is the book, um, The Crusades by Thomas Asbridge. And you can place and hold on it. You can actually get a sample of it. So you can see if it's something appropriate and then you can actually pick it up on a, at the library. So you can exactly see what's available and what's not. So this is Overdrive. So today we talked about a few ways that you can jumpstart student research about a topic. We took an example as the Crusades, but you can use these resources with anything else that students are interested. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.